There was a DVD extra that was found in the in the Paramount uh, vault a few years ago, and it was of my uh, screen test. And I looked at it. They sent it to me because they wanted to put put it on as a DVD extra, and it blew my mind. I mean, I literally had to go into the bathroom and look at myself and see if I could see that that was the same guy. There was so much hunger there. It was this, this combination of like cockiness and hunger. And I have to say that you get better over time. And I don't look at, at my movies because I just, I have a hard time seeing, you know, the mistakes and the choices, different choices that I could have made and, and, all kinds of stuff. It's just, it's not a good place for me to go. Yeah. But to look at that screen test, I honestly thought to myself, yeah, I think I would have given me the part too, you know? Yeah. And, and as things go, it was a life changer. The weird thing about it though, was we're talking about fame is that, you know, when that movie came out, I had the kind of fame that I had always wanted to have. And all of a sudden I was like, Oh, Whoa, this is not, this is not what I want. You know what I mean? Right. Because I, I felt like I really wasn't being taken seriously as an actor. And through all that interim, those interim years in New York and going from, you know, just character role to character role and different, you know, kind of dialects and yeah, kinds of people um, to be a, uh, you know, a, a pop star was not what I wanted. I was being rewarded for, you know, tight pants and, you know, and, and dance doubles. Clearly it, it put a stamp, you know, in the pop culture lexicon. You know this clip. It just shows the power that that movie had. This is from Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm a warrior and an assassin. I do not dance. Really? Well, on my planet, there's a legend about people like you. It's called Footloose. And in it? a great hero named Kevin Bacon. He teaches an entire city full of people with sticks up their butts that dancing, well, it's the greatest thing there is. A great hero, <laughs> yes. I mean, that's gotta feel cool. And, and that's James Gunn, who you worked with. I loved it, I loved it. And you know, the great thing about that is that James never told me about this. Really? He, no, he never mentioned it. And somebody said to me, have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy yet? <laughs> and I said, no, I haven't, I haven't seen it. And he said, you should see that. <laughs> movie. And so I went with very little knowledge. Like, honestly, I, I was up on, on 63rd, on 67th Street at the movie theater and all alone in the afternoon. And I knew that there was going to be something but I didn't know anything about what it was going to be. So it was really kind of fun. It was a fun experience to have. I was like, oh my God. That, yeah. 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 James um, directed a movie called Super. And when, when James called me up to do Super, he said, I'm doing this tiny little movie and Jean-Claude Van Damme fell out. So uh, basically I was like, I don't even know if I need to read this. If, if I can take Jean-Claude Van Damme sloppy seconds, that'll be something that I'll... I'll how often are you two competing for a part, right? I don't think very often, honestly. I, I maybe never. Yeah. So that was cool. 